Thank you for watching AI PRM Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use AI PRM's Prompt Wizard, the tool that makes building your own prompts so easy and painless. But if you've never built a prompt before, I highly recommend you check out our other tutorial, How to Create a Prompt. It'll give you more context in the different elements you want to include to make your prompt as effective and efficient as possible. Now. Before we even get started, make sure that you have AI PRM installed on Chrome or Edge and you have it set up and connected to ChatGPT. When you are logged into AI PRM, make sure that you are clicked on your own prompts tab so you can create your own private prompt. You can do that either by clicking the plus button over here by the search bar or this add private prompt down below. Now, when you click the button, you will see the prompt wizard as a basic prompt builder appear. In essence, it allows you to take the core elements of prompt building and apply your own version in a more simple and basic manner. You are going to want to consider the role, task, constraints, and context. The role is what persona you want ChatGPT to consider. Now, we will provide you with some options in this role drop down, or you can always enter your own. So as you see, if I click on the role, it says you are a content marketer, a programmer, a researcher, an SEO specialist, any of these different roles. Now in advanced or even in here, you can make your role much more complex. For instance, saying I am a content marketer for an e-commerce site that builds adventure gear, right? That gives more specific context to the role. The second is the task that you're going to enter. So this could be something like analyzing website content. It could be developing a customized website. It could be generating keywords for SEO optimization, or you can add your own. In addition to the task that you add here, the task will also be entered as part of the prompt. So if you're creating this private prompt for other colleagues or employees in a list that you're going to share via Teams, you'll have them actually include their prompt down below. That's all they'll need to add. Constraints. What do you want AI PRM to consider in the prompt so that ChatGPT's output doesn't add things like, you know, Ethic breaking ethical guidelines or that it's unclear. So the constraint might be ensure clarity and coherence in generated content or follow the brand guidelines and tone of voice that you might add via custom profiles or a custom tone of voice. Very cool options here, but obviously you can add your own. And then finally, context drop downs consider, you know, in the context of academic research and writing or market research and competitive analysis. These are some basic ideas. You can add any other context that you want. Down below, you'll see this target language and the prompt. These are core variables that need to be included if you want to turn this into a public prompt. So in this example, say I am a content marketer and I'm asked to Let's see, let's do create a content calendar for social media platforms, but I want it to follow the brand guidelines and tone of voice and in the context of personal branding and development. No, in the, in the context of social media advertising campaigns. Beautiful. Okay. Content calendar in the context of social media advertising campaigns. Now, one cool thing is you can see what your prompt is going to look like if you click over to this advanced section. This is also where you can add any other details that you want to. Ready? So really nice, beautiful, brief, and clear prompt. Here's a teaser that's created. That's the description. And then the title, this will be a content marketer, create a content calendar for social media. The prompt hint, you know, you we might want to add to here, say, please, elaborate on the task. And then you can add what category it goes in. In this case, it'll be marketing activity. So this will be under writing. And then this will be private. I'm not going to share this one with my team. And it's for 3.5, 4.0, put my name in there, put my website in there, and then save prompt. Boom. How easy is that to use the prompt wizard? And then you'll see that title appear after a few seconds. You just refresh. There we go. And now we'll just do a little 
content marketer. There it is. Boom. Content marketer, create a content calendar for social media platforms. Okay. Um, uh, create it for the next month for my real estate business based in Colorado. Okay. And let's see what happens. Here it is. One month content calendar for your real estate business in Colorado, October, 2023. Well, that's impressive. It knows today's date. Okay. So we've got the first week, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously you can build out and customize, you know, when you want to iterate, when you want to improve the prompt, when you run that first prompt and you test it, then you'll know what you want to add to a constraint. For instance, you know, we need to let this, this prompt know that we're only doing Facebook and, you know, Twitter at this point. So in the constraint, we'll say only focus on Facebook and Twitter for social media. That's how you want to add a constraint, and that's what you want to practice. Anyway, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always visit us at the AIPRM community forums. Prompt Wizard is going to make prompt building so much easier. And before you know it, you probably won't even be using it because you'll have a really good sense of how to improve and create an advanced prompt exactly what you're looking for. Like if you want to add variables and check out the AIPRM tutorial for adding variables to your prompt. That's where we get really cool and really advanced things. Signing off. Thank you for watching.